The Copenhagen plank, shown to significantly reduce groin injuries, increase groin strength, and effectively activate the core muscles. Welcome back to E3 Rehab. I'm Tony Camella, and as you have probably already guessed, today we're gonna review the Copenhagen plank. For those unfamiliar, the Copenhagen plank is a form of side plank that targets the adductor complex or our groin muscles. The adductors are in reference to three muscles located on the inner thigh, which are primarily responsible for adducting our hip or moving our leg toward the midline. Injuries to this area are found to be highly prevalent in various sports, most notably ones involving running or kicking. Research shows that there's a significant reduction in adductor strength, both before and during the onset of a groin injury. Therefore, adductor strengthening has been a topic of interest in terms of injury reduction, rehab, and performance. A 2013 study compared eight adductor exercises and found a Copenhagen plank variation to not only demonstrate a high adductor activation, but it also showed to have the highest activation of the trunk muscles. Due to the close proximity of the origin of the adductors and the insertion of the abdominal muscles, this makes it a strong consideration when designing rehab and injury risk reduction programs for the groin. Most of the research has looked at the use of the Copenhagen adduction exercise, which involves a partner holding the top leg at either the ankle or the knee. This exercise is performed by lifting the body and the bottom leg up until the feet touch and the body is in a straight line. The body and the leg then lower so the foot just gently touches the floor. This is then repeated for desired repetitions. A 2016 study showed that an eight week progressive strengthening program using the Copenhagen adduction exercise resulted in a 35% increase in eccentric adductor strength. In a more recent study, a group of male soccer players completed a 36 week long program using this exercise. During an eight week preseason, they performed multiple sessions a week while progressively increasing volume and intensity. They then continued the program during the 28 week long season, keeping intensity high but reducing the overall volume. The implementation of this program reduced the prevalence and risk of groin problems by 41%. While the Copenhagen adduction exercise is beneficial, it is considered an advanced variation and does require someone to hold your leg, which might not always be practical. A great alternative is the Copenhagen plank a version that we can do at home, does not require a partner, and has multiple levels of progressions. The setup is going to be similar to that of a side plank. We start on our side with the forearm on the ground, hips and shoulders stacked, and legs straight. But instead of feet on the ground, we place the top foot onto a chair, bench, or another stable surface, while the bottom leg is held off the ground. From the top view, we have a straight line from our shoulders to hips to knee, and depending on the variation, our ankles. The bottom leg can be straight, but it can also be bent if you are using a surface that prevents you from straightening the leg, such as an ottoman or couch. If the variation with the top leg straight is too challenging, we can either rest the bottom leg on the floor to help support our body weight, or we can bend the top knee, which reduces the moment arm and makes this exercise a bit easier to hold. Again, we can do this with either the bottom leg straight or bent. All of these are isometric variations. We activate the adductors without actually moving the hip. The progression would be to add hip movement, similar to the Copenhagen adduction exercise shown earlier. We can start with the top leg bent as we move our body and leg up and down. And then we can ultimately progress to the top leg straight, performing the same movement. For most of these variations, we recommend holding for 20 to 30 seconds each side and performing two to three sets multiple times a week. 
But if you are looking for more guidance, we have a free Copenhagen Plank program available on our website. Check the description box below for the link. All right, that's all we got for today. As always, we appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We will see you guys next time. Peace.